Hello there, it's Sev here from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to the video guide for the Sargent EC50 control panel. In this video we're going to learn how to use this control panel and uh, also the power supply unit that it comes with which is the EC155 in this particular instance but you may have a slightly different model Sargent power supply unit. So let's get to it. So first things first, the EC155 power supply unit um, basically holds everything you're going to need for the electrical side of things. So it has your habitation 12 volt fuses down here and it has your RCD and MCB mains electrical trip switches right here. They are all labelled as well typically. The battery charger is also fitted into this unit and it has an on off switch right here. When the charger is turned on and it's receiving mains electrical power, it will illuminate this switch as you can see right there. Now this is in communication with the control panel itself, which is the EC50 panel we can see right here if I try and get in a comfortable position again. Right, here we go. So. What we then have is the ability to turn the power on here. So if I press that, you can see the LED next to the power button illuminates. We also see this button illuminate, and we also temporarily had a display there on the LED segmented display. Now these two buttons are for selecting and viewing the battery levels. So we have here the leisure battery, and here is the vehicle battery, distinguished by the L and the V, with inside the battery symbols. The selected battery is indicated by the LED illuminating. So as you can see, we have the leisure battery selected. I can check the selected battery voltage by just pressing it again. And you can see there we have a nice strong voltage because of course this is on charge. We can switch batteries by pressing the required battery. So here we have now switched to the vehicle battery. You can see the voltage is indicated there and it is now uh, showing it is the selected battery, as you can see. Now, please bear in mind, uh, of course, you will in selecting the battery, you could be draining it as well. So if you're not plugged into mains electric charge, then uh, only temporarily view your vehicle battery voltage before switching back to the leisure battery itself right there okay now here down the bottom we have uh, two buttons we have a master switch for your water pump and then we have an auxiliary this could be wired into many things it has a lighting indicator on it and funnily enough in this particular vehicle this does in fact operate the lights this could operate other things in your vehicle's particular installation. Now, the difference between the EC50 control panel and the EC51 or 51 panel is that this button is replaced with a water tank indicator. Now, with regards to the battery voltages and the display here, these LEDs, when the battery voltage gets low, I believe it's about nine, nine volts or 10 volts or something like that, this when the voltage gets to that point, this LED will turn red and it will alert you with an audible beep. And then after a minute, it will actually shut the power off to the control panel to protect the energy or levels in the batteries and protect it. So if you uh, hear that beep or if you come in one day and you find your power is off, there's a good chance this has shut itself down to preserve your battery power. On the vehicle battery side of things, it works exactly the same way, but the voltage threshold is higher. It's going to be 10.9 volts. As soon as it drops below 11 volts, that's when this will kick in with a red light to show that the power is too low and that it's going to shut off within a minute to protect the battery. And here we have a Sargent EC51 control panel, as we've just mentioned. You can see the difference here being we have a water tank button in place of the auxiliary. And when this button is pressed, we get a water tank indication on the uh, LED segmented display there. Now, as you notice, this one is flashing on the lowest red LED there. That's because this particular vehicle's water tank is bone dry. It's completely empty. So that is telling us that the tank is, of course, empty and we uh, need to be aware of that. Also on this particular control panel, the LED here that normally illuminates, as you can see on these other buttons and on the EC50, that illuminates when the auxiliary is pressed. 
on the fresh water tank button here on the EC51, this is an indication that your waste tank needs attention, uh, i.e. it needs emptying. Now, of course, this only applies if you do have a waste tank fitted to your vehicle and that it has a sensor connected to this system. But there you go. That's the main difference between the EC50 and the EC51 control panels. And that is pretty much it for the Sargent EC50 control panel. And in this particular instance, the uh, EC155 Sargent power supply unit. Like I say, you may have a slightly different power supply unit with, alongside it. Uh, but those typically are the two that are married together. Um, I'm Sev. Thank you very much for watching this video.